the Lord richly bless you. And um, I welcome also uh, our friend is here. For God works uh, all things for the good of them vision. that love him. For the good Pastor of them Sibia, who are called yeah, according to this morning. Thank purpose. you for sharing this moment with us of fellowship. May the Lord continue to bless your ministry and your family in the name of Jesus. And those that are here for the first time, we thank you. And those also that will be watching this morning, watching this service, we also thank the Lord for your life. Amen. All the announcements has been said. More importantly for us is to look forward to this year's conference. The Gathering of Eagles. The annual Africa Gathering of Eagles. We call it annual Africa Gathering of Eagles. We have been using that now going to about four or five years. Amen. And we are looking towards that time when men and women from all over part of Africa shall congregate as eagles in the name of Jesus. They shall come on their own because eagles always work on his own. But we gather together to proclaim the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, in that announcement, the Saturday, the 27th, is going to be special for us, meant for you and those that you will invite. It's a business and career empowerment. That is this, the, the Saturday we run that way. We have made a special flyer for that. As we provide you the spiritual impartation, we want to give you the practical impartation to encourage you, to teach you, to hear about those who have broken through. Amen. And so that Saturday, it's going to be you know, a business-like, and I want to just encourage you to be part of it, to look forward to it, and bring your friends, those who are complaining to you that life is difficult, bring them to Christ through this empowerment afternoon. Those who are jobless, let them know that they can break through. And this is why this Saturday, especially, is going to be practical. We are having different people entirely who want to come and empower you by their own experience and by the grace that God has given them in the marketplace. Those who are coming on that Saturday, they are averagely more than 25 years in business. Some of them, they broke through the ranks. We cannot continue to say that South Africa is difficult. No. It's not difficult. We just need to learn on how to break, to break the ground, on how to break through into the business we want to do and into the career that we long to have. Amen. So that is that program. This week, by the grace of God, we'll be flying the, 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 the flyers and then the, it will get printed and we're going to start very early this time to start sharing and advertising this very event. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I have also requested of you, without any shame, that we need your financial support. If you want the spirit of this breaking limitation to manifest in your life, you need to sow into it. You need to sow into it. Amen. We are not raising money, but we are asking you to sow into it. And I've told you instructively that you package your seed in an envelope with your prayer request. Where do you want to break through? Where do you want to break through? You package a seed, a decent seed, and believe God that this year, you have to break through certain levels in the name of Jesus. I want you to package in an envelope, write it, AGE 2020, your seed to this conference of breaking the limitation. And by the Lord God that I serve, you will surely see 
the sign of your breaking forth. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go into the word of today. Praise the name of the Lord. We have been teaching about the series that says, O oh Lord, let my glory shine. Let my glory shine. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready for that this morning? That, oh Lord, let my glory shine. Praise the name of the Lord. Our Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. We thank you for the benefit, for the mystery of Christ that you have given unto us. Even though, as Paul says, that even though I am the least of the saints, that your grace has been given to me to teach the Gentiles the mystery, the riches of Christ Jesus. And so this morning, O oh Lord God, I say, Lord, glorify your word. Let your Holy Spirit give understanding to every hearer in this place and make me your vessel in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, let my glory shine. Hallelujah. The glory of God is the glory that we live by. And God wants us to understand that we have been called in such a time to manifest his glory. Praise the name of the Lord. To manifest his glory and that we have been called to this glory that the name of the Lord may be glorified. Hallelujah. And so this morning, I want to speak to us briefly about how God makes your glory to shine. And I'm speaking about the dominion that God gives you. I'm talking about the purpose that God gives you. That through dominion that Jesus has come to restore unto us, and the purpose that he has laid unto us, our glory shines. Hallelujah. I say our glory shines by the dominion given to us, by the purpose revealed to us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning I'm going to believe God for flow because the battery of my iPad just died because of the long service I've done this morning. You know, I've done the Bible class, the baptism class, and I also did uh, the, 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 the communion service. So I'm just going to flow without a note. Praise the name of the Lord. The, the heart that wrote it, the heart will surely speak. So I'm going to speak from my heart because the battery is dead. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we, we want to see how God uses purpose in our life to bring us into limelight. We are asking that God, let my glory shine. What is glory? Glory is the brilliant, radiant beauty. It's the brilliant, radiant beauty. Hallelujah. And that's what glory means. The glory that we're talking about is your accomplishment. The glory of who he has called you to be, to shine as the Lord has created you. But God gives us that dominion back. God gives you that purpose through which your glory shines. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus taught, he taught the disciples, Matthew chapter 5, verse 15, of verse 14, he said, you are the light of the world, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bow, instead they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. It gives light to everyone in the house. The light is the light of Christ upon your life. The light is the purpose for which draws all men unto you and you make impact among men. And it says in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good words, your good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. 
And so God grants us this dominion. Dominion is to be in control. Dominion is to have your own space of endeavors. It's where you have gained the capacity to bear fruits. And so through dominion, we are able to, to showcase the glory of God that is upon our life, upon what we do. And I mentioned to you last week that there is no glory without a purpose. There is no glory without a purpose. The fruit of a tree is its purpose. It's its glory. The fruit of a tree is its glory. You cannot have a apple tree and you will not see a apple fruit. And so is our life individually. That through our careers, that through the accomplishment, and through our work of ministry, we bear, we manifest the glory of what we have been called to do. In the name of Jesus. I wanted to see that how God gives dominion, how God releases a purpose. The purpose I'm talking about is the intent of God for your life. The predestined of God for your life, what you have been ordained to be and what you have been ordained to do. I want us to see that God provides a platform of purpose to make our glory shine. The platform of purpose is the work that has been given to us. Is the assignment that has been given to us. Is the challenge that has been given to us. And that becomes the purpose by which God makes the glory of your life, the glory of your gift to manifest, to shine. And that one takes me to a story of this man of God called David. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, 1 Samuel chapter 17, the glory of David could not shine until he won the battle against Goliath of, of Philistines. We remember that in 1 Samuel chapter 16, he was anointed with oil in the horn. He was anointed. But he returned to the bush where he walks, where he pastored or shepherded the, 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 the animals of his father. But when God wants to give him dominion, God created a platform of purpose for him. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, 1 Samuel chapter 17, praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, now the Philistines gathered their forces for war and assembled at Succor in Judah. They pitched camp at Ephesus, damming between Succor and Asaka. Saul and the Israelites assembled and camped in the valley of Elah and drew up their battle line to meet the Philistines. The Philistines occupied one hill and Israelite another with the valley between them. Now, a champion called Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistines' camp. His height was six cubits, a span, and he had a bronze helmet on his head and wore a coat of scale armor of bronze weighing 5,000 shekels on his leg. This is the description. On his leg wore bronze greaves and bronze jive. Javelin was, was slung on his back. His spear shaft was like a weaver's rod. And its iron point weighed 600 shekels. His sheet bearer went ahead of him. Now, this was the description of Goliath of the Philistines. By height, and by every paraphernalia of war that he had with him. This represents a battle to the people of God, Israelites. 
And so we have battles in our life that represent a Goliath. Uh, but I want you to understand that this battle may be in your family. This Goliath may be in your family. This challenge may come against your family. I want you to see it as a platform for a purpose for your life. And that's where your glory will shine. If you do not take on the purpose that God releases to you, you may be short change of the glory of your life. And so we look at this story of David, that God gave David dominion. God brought him from the bush onto the battlefield. God brought him from the, from the bush onto the battlefield. The battlefield became a platform of purpose to take him to the higher level. It became a platform of purpose by which his name became relevant. Remember, he was anointed with the oil, oil in the horn, but it was not known to men. It was not yet known until he took on the battle against the Goliath. Hallelujah. And I'm saying to someone today that there may be battle that surround you. There may be challenge that surround you. Do not run away from challenges. Do not run away from battles against your family. Do not run away from battles and challenges in your environment because you may be running away from your destiny. And so we saw the story of this son of God, David. The Bible says his father sent him out and to go and deliver at the war front. But this Goliath in verse 8 of 1 Samuel 17 Goliath stood and shouted to the ranks of Israel. And he said to them, why do you come out and line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine? And are you not the servants of Saul? Choose a man and have him come down to me. He said, choose a man and have him come down. Goliath believed that there was no one that could conquer him or defeat him. He just said, just give a man to come and face me. And we saw that that became a challenge. Even the king was terrified. All the armies, they ran away. Some of them, they were, they, 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 they were shivering. And the Bible says, for 40 days, this man came every morning and evening to, to, to challenge the people of God. There are troubles in our life and family. There are challenges that confront us every day like Goliath confronted the people for 40 days and nights. He comes to threaten them. There are things that challenges you right now every day in your life. There are battles that you wake up to see every day in your family. Are you ready to stand to confront the battle? You are praying that God let me make it. You are praying God let my glory shine. Are you ready to confront the battle that confronts your community, your family, your business, your ministry, your church? Are you ready to confront those battles, those challenges? That's where God laid up a purpose. That's where God releases dominion. And so we saw in the story the Bible says in this first Samuel chapter 17, verse 17, that Jesse, now Jesse said to his son David, take this ephah of roasted grain and these 10 loaves of, of, of bread for your brothers and hurry to their camp. Take along these 10 cheeses to the commander of their unit. See how your brothers are and bring back some assurance from them. And so we saw that this, this David was sent on an errand. I wrote a book in 2013 about discovering, in 2013 or 2012, I wrote that book, Discovering Your Divine Assignment Unto Success. This was one of the points I made, that simple task leads you to greatness. Simple task leads you to divine assignment. 
It was there. You can get it on Amazon.com. Just type Abbe Adenigba there. All my books will come out. But today I'm saying, I'm saying to someone who is believing God for a breakthrough. Because when we are saying, oh Lord, let my glory shine, we are looking for a breakthrough where we have not broken through. We are looking for celebration where we have not celebrated. We are looking for accomplishment where we have not accomplished. It's for our individual life and for even for our organization, our business, even for our church where we are right now. We still want to attain certain level of glory of ministry. It depends on how we carry and work with the purpose that is at hand. And so we are using David this morning to let us see that when God wants to make your glory to shine, he gives you a dominion and he creates the platform of purpose for you. And that platform of purpose comes with a challenge. It comes with, 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 with battles of life. It comes with difficulties that everyone is afraid to address the difficulty, but you made yourself available. And David said today when he went to deliver to his brothers, as the Bible says in verse 23 of 1 Samuel 17, as he was talking with them, the trouble showed up. The trouble man showed up. As he was talking to his brother, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, stepped out from his lines. He stepped out from his lines and shouted his usual defiance. His usual defiance. That means that, you know, this guy never wants to give up. He always harass. There are people who are harassing your family. I said there are people harassing your family. People speaking insult on your family. People speaking things against your family, against where you gather. What do you do about it? There are many people who hear the problem of the house of God. They do nothing about it. Because these are problems that confront the house of God, the church of God. They are like giants. They are like Goliath who comes every morning to harass the people of God. God is no different to what is harassing the church of today. Who speaks for the church? Who speaks for the church? Are you ready to make yourself available to speak against those who criticize the church? Those who, you know, they, they intimidate men of God. Are you ready to stand to speak? Praise the name of the Lord. God just wants somebody to hear this. Don't join them to be intimidated when you do the work of God. You need to speak the truth. Jesus says, and you will know the truth, and this truth will set you free. Praise God. So we saw here that David came at the time when Goliath now harasses the people of God. And the Bible says, as this Goliath come as usual, David heard it. Whenever the Israelites saw the man, they all fled from him in great fear. Now, the Israelites had been saying, do you see how this man keeps coming? Coming out? He comes out to defy Israel. The king will give great wealth to the man who kills him, he will also give him his daughter in marriage and will exempt his family from taxes in Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. That, that seems to resonate with someone that if you can do something for your country, you may be exempted from taxes. That is relevant in this age. Instead of you paying tax of 35%, you are exempted. I mean, what, what a grace, what a privilege 
Praise the name of the Lord. You know, that, you know the Bible has everything we need to know. It, the Bible can never be irrelevant in this world. The Bible can never be irrelevant. Everything, the standard of, organi- of, of government is in this Bible. Let's give Jesus a clap of free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we saw here that this, this came to harass the people of God and even the king said, I will give this and that to whoever can sort out these problems. Now, David asked the man standing near, what will be done for the man who kills these Philistines and removes this disgrace from Israel? Remove this disgrace from Israel. That's what I'm saying. That we can see how God is laying the platform of purpose the platform of purpose and, re, and giving, I mean, making him to be ready for dominion. You know, you can be anointed and not relevant. You can be anointed, but you are not relevant. But I'm saying to you today, the glory of your anointing can shine when God gives you dominion and you receive it. When God gives you purpose and you receive it, you will shine. And so David asked this man and they said to him that this is what will be done for the man who kills the Philistines and to remove this disgrace. So who, he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? So they repeated all the promises to him. What will be done? Even his brothers, they said, no, what have you come to do here? You have been sent to deliver bread and cheese. Now you are asking about the Goliath. They tried to despise him, but he refused. I want to tell you, when you identify your purpose, you don't suffer a setback. When you you identify your purpose, you don't suffer a setback. You are naturally and divinely inspired. You are divinely inspired. And so we saw David here, and he took on this, this, this Goliath. They took him to the king. They tried to give him the king's world, fair, uh, world gear. He, he, he tried to move. He said, no, I'm not used to this. God prepared him for a dominion because the time has come for him to shine. God took him from the bush and brought him into the battlefield. Let me tell you something. Your glory can, may start from a place of trouble. Your glory may start to shine from the place of challenges. Don't run from challenges. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we saw that David went with his sling and the stones that he had with him. And he brought down the Goliath. He brought down Goliath. This established him. His name that had not been known became known. He became relevant in his generation because he stepped into the purpose. He stepped into service. He stepped into the need of the moment. He served his nation He served this nation. Because when you begin to walk in the purpose for which God created you, you are serving the nation. You are serving God and you are serving the people. So I'm saying today that God will make your glory to shine. He will give you dominion and then he will create the platform of purpose. The platform of purpose where you will serve. Where you will exercise the gift and talent that he has given to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I said to you, there is no glory without a purpose. There is no glory without a purpose. Every purpose that you hold on to carries its own glory. And God comes in a time when it shall shine. 
And the Bible said to us further in the, in the, in the, in the first Samuel chapter 18, that when they were returning from the, 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 the war, including the king and all the men, including David, and you know the next thing that happened, you know the women, the women came out to sing. The women came out to sing. And they said, Saul has killed his thousands, but David has killed his ten thousands. That was the beginning of the glory, and that was the beginning of the problem. But we are looking at the glory. We are not looking at the problem. We are not looking at when Paul, Saul wants to kill him. We are looking at the glory that follows the purpose and the victory. This was a man who was anointed. The Bible said he was anointed in full form and the spirit of God rested upon him. But he went back to the bush. Until God took him and brought him to a battlefield. The battlefield became a platform for him to enter his purpose. And I'm saying to you today, you want your glory to shine, you must be ready to enter and identify the purpose for which you are created for. The purpose for which your gift is created for. That's how your glory will shine. And we saw that in the life of David. The women became the announcers. They were the ones dancing the booger sound. Praise God. I think there's something like booger. Is it, am I right? If it's in this generation, they will dance, the booger dance, they rest like this and do something like that. You understand what I'm saying? I want to say to us today, this glory, you are born with the glory. I said you are born with the glory. You are just waiting for that day of your announcement and your day has come. I say, your day has come. Enter into the service and purpose of God. Your glory will shine. Enter into it. And the Lord being with you will give you victory. In the name of Jesus. The narrative of David was rewritten. The narrative changed. The narrative changed. The women became the mouthpiece for him. They began to cry. They began to sing. And that was how David became a relevant man in the land of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. That was the man who has been living and working in the bush. His mother was not there. That's why perhaps they put him in the bush. That is my own interpretation. Hallelujah. Because why did they send other ones to the war and they did not send him? They underrated him. And I'm saying today, wherever you have been underrated, God will rate you high. I say God will rate you high. Your glory will shine. Your career will shine. Your ministry will shine. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The book of Proverbs says to us, Proverbs 8, it says, it says the, the path of the righteous shines. It shines brighter and brighter until the dawn of the day. So shall it be for you. So shall it be for me. It's my time. Say it's my time to shine. Listen people. A certain man, a politician said in our language, he said a milokon. Have you heard about it? You don't know if you are Zulu. He said a milokon means it's my time. Am I right, Sister Teresa? A milokon. He said, say to yourself a milokon. Say a milokon. To enter into higher glory. It's my turn. He said it's my turn. To give birth to my testimony. To receive my promotion in life. To please God in all my life. It's my time. It's my time. Praise the name of the Lord. The man said, They could not reject him. He said, It's my time. That's what it means. He got a ticket for presidential candidate. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, the Bible said that in Romans 10, he said with the hearts, a man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, he confesses unto salvation. And so, you must confess, you must speak what God has spoken concerning you. I'm saying a milokon. I said I'm milokon. <laughs> to rise into my higher glory. The glory in ministry. The glory in my business. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Stand up and let us pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord, we just give you praise. We give you all the honor and glory. Thank you for your word of today. Thank you in the spirit of God. Thank you for what you have dropped in our spirit. Lord, there is no fear unto them that are in Christ Jesus. There is no longer condemnation in the name of Jesus. For you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of discipline in the name of Jesus. And of love you have given us. And so, mighty God, Lord, we receive of you this morning. We receive of your spirit this morning. We thank you for your word, almighty God. Thank you, Lord God, for making us to birth a new level of glory. To making us to birth a new level of glory. In what you have called us to do. To take on the battles and to be a victor. To take on the challenge and to live in victory. Father, we receive of you today. We receive of you today. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, your people shall not be denied. They shall not be denied. This is their time. This is the season. Let their glory shine. Let their career shine. Let their ministry shine. Let their businesses shine. Let their marriage shine. In the name of Jesus, you have proclaimed us. Father, Lord, we thank you. Jesus says that the glory you have given to me, I have given unto them. That we, they may be one, just as we are one. Father, Lord, we proclaim, O oh Lord, oneness with your spirit. Oneness with your Holy Ghost spirit. In us, O oh Lord God, we thank you this morning. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Thank you, our Lord and our Savior. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Almighty God. Thank you, Jehovah Nissi. Thank you, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, for Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He said, he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So that the blessing of Abraham may come upon us. And the blessing brings the radiance of glory of God upon your lives. He said, arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has come upon you. He said, there may be thick darkness. Darkness will come upon the people. He said, but the light of Christ will arise and rest upon you. Even in the midst of darkness. In the midst of unemployment, you will get employment. In the midst of scarcity, you will have provisions. You will have abundance. You will have favor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your business will progress. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will obtain your promotion in your, of your career. In your workplace, the Lord will crown you with his glory for promotions in the mighty name of Jesus. And some of us that are in business, the Bible says to us, when this, as this light shines upon us, Isaiah chapter 16 verse 3, he says, nations will come to your light. And kings to the brightness of your dawn. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this morning, Almighty God. Let nations come to our light. Nations come to our light. Come to our prominence. Come to our purpose. In the name of Jesus. Make the kings to come to our rising. The brightness of our glory. Let the kings and the men of influence come to our our gift so receive of our gift in the name of Jesus thank you marvelous Lord in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray Amen. let's put our hands together Amen. hallelujah praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord I want to welcome my friend is here this morning pastor Savior let him also release a blessing upon your life let's welcome him welcome pastor Savior, to give us a closing prayer. Praise the name of the Lord.
Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, John 6, 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth, and the flesh profiteth nothing. Every word I have heard this morning is of the spirit of God to shape, to direct, and to anchor you to your new level. Now in the name of Jesus, Lord, I stand before you on the authority of the foundation of your word laid by the man of the God in the house to speak life, increase, multiplication, joy, peace, victory, and triumph over your people. For the rest of the year, July, August, September, October, November, and December, Father, your people shall see a divine dimension of your glory upon their lives. Our Father and our God, you are the reason for this gathering. We are not gathered unto any man. We are not gathered unto any object. You are the reason for this meeting. And because you are the reason, we have come to partake of that which are prepared for us this day before the foundation of creation. For this law, we anchor our faith in you. That our faith would not disappoint us. For faith is the attribute of God and God the attribute of faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please you. And because we believe you are our God, we are here by faith. And we know faith shall set us free. Faith shall take us to a new level. Faith will release that glory upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And the people of God say, Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Let's stretch our hands to the man of God as well. Hey, Pastor, we are let's, let's, let's stretch our hands towards him and just release the blessing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we lift up your servant. We ask Almighty God that the light of his ministry shall continue to shine bright and brighter until the dawn of the day. Father, we thank you for divine provision for every project that the ministry is happening right now both locally and internationally. Father, we pray today, Lord God, that it shall mark a new beginning. The glory shall continue to shine. Those projects will be fulfilled. There shall be divine helpers, divine helpers, divine provision to come upon the ministry of your servant. In the name of Jesus, we release the glory. We pray the Shekinah glory to inhabit every project to inhabit every program of his ministry. Father, today we say, Lord, let the light of God arise upon him. Let the glory cover him from the head to the toe upon his family, his children, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we send him forth in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. you. Welcome to the new level of glory. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed today? Amen. Hallelujah. So last week, there's been so much of um, electricity, I mean, uh, load shedding, and that's why the uh, pulpit online could not come on. We pray that this week will be good and there shall be stability of our power. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching and uh, following us in this fellowship today. May God bless you. For those who are watching online and to us here, God bless you. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go well and prosper.
He has died for you to remove condemnation from your life. 